Chapter 91 Felt like he had gone crazy you are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 91 Felt like he had gone crazy translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation After Su Qianxuan exited the bathroom, she proceeded to the stairs at the side of the mansion and quickly went up. When she saw that there was no one around upon arriving at the first floor, she darted straight towards her grandfather's study room. As Su Qianxuan walked forward in a hurry, someone suddenly grabbed her by the arm. That person forcefully pulled her into a room next to her. Once she was inside the room, the man pushed her against the wall. She raised her leg to kick the man's groin, but this time, the other party was prepared for the attack, and he grabbed her leg before she could do it. Xia Chushi, are you crazy? Let me go. Su Qianxuan angrily tried to push the man in front of her away. Dut, I'm giving you a chance. Come with me, and I won't let Uncle Xiao take advantage of you anymore, Xia Chushi said in a hoarse voice as he fixed his gaze on the dazzlingly beautiful small face before him. He, too, felt like he had gone crazy. Go with you. Su Qianxuan thought that she had misheard his words, and astonishment filled her eyes, which were as beautiful as crystals. I won't be disgusted by the fact that another man has f asterisk ked you, and I don't care who you gave your virginity to. If you stop keeping in touch with all those men out there, I'll be responsible for your life and Su Jia's life from now on. You don't care, but I do. Enough with your dirt. Cheap kindness, because I don't need it. Let me go. There was hatred in Su Qianxuan's voice. Infuriated by her attitude, Xia Chushi lost control of his strength and accidentally tore Su Qianxuan's dress a little. Doesn't she like me very much? Hasn't she always wanted to marry me? Now that I want her, shouldn't she be extremely happy and grateful? He was pressing down on her shoulders with his coarse fingers, and the smoothness of her skin stimulated his fingertips. Xia Chushi's breath immediately grew heavier, and his P asterisk NIS became even more erect, so much so that it was painful. He had felt like that from the moment he saw her tonight, and this feeling was extremely strong. You'd rather be F asterisk ked by those disgusting men than to serve me alone. Su Qianxuan, are you really such a degenerate? Yes, I find you dirty. Don't touch me with those dirty hands of yours, which has touched another woman before. Su Qianxuan, do you want to die? Extremely furious, Xia Chui extended his hands to choke Su Qianxuan's neck. How dare she call me dirty when she has long ceased to be a virgin herself? If it weren't for the fact that she doesn't know how to value her own body, would I have hated her so much? She said that she liked me, but she's always having dubious relationships with other men. Su Qianxuan had been waiting for this opportunity. She raised her leg and gave Xia Chushi's groin a hard kick, pushing him away. She then turned and fled. This time, Su Qianxuan really kicked his groin with all her might. Xia Chushi was in so much pain that he bent over, and droplets of cold sweat immediately formed on his forehead. He held his groin with his hands and growled furiously, Su Qianxuan, you better come right back here. Why would Su Qianxuan listen to him? She quickly ran towards her grandfather's study room. Xia Chushi thought of the man who was with Xiao Banian earlier. He knew that Xiao Banian would definitely not let Su Qianxuan get away today. Unexpectedly, there was suddenly a dull ache in his chest when he thought about that, and he felt as if he was suffocating. He wanted to endure the pain and chase after Su Qianxuan, but Xiao Yiren walked over right then. When she saw how in pain Xia Chushi looked, her face was filled with worry. Chushi, what happened to you? Xiao Yiren was almost in tears. Xia Chushi abruptly regained his senses when he saw Xiao Yiren. What was wrong with me just now? I love this pure and innocent young woman, not the peremptory and arrogant Su Qianxuan who doesn't even value her own body. Moreover, Iren's already pregnant with my child. But, why do I still feel this dull ache in my chest? 
Su Chinchuan successfully entered her grandfather's study room, and she started to look for the item that her grandfather left behind for her. Chapter 92 Stabbed her lower belly you are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 92 Stabbed her lower belly translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation Su Chinchuan felt really regretful. Back when her grandfather was telling her about the item, she was being too playful and did not take note of the item's exact location at all. She only remembered her grandfather saying that it was in the study room. Her grandfather's study room was more than a hundred square feet, and there were a lot of things inside. She would take forever to find that item. No matter what, this opportunity was hard to come by, and she had to find that item. It was impossible for her grandfather to simply leave such an important object around. He must have kept it in an extremely covert place. Five minutes later, Su Qianxuan suddenly felt a surge of dizziness, and she was also a little weak in the knees. What's wrong with me? Qianxuan, what are you looking for? Xiao Bonian's sudden appearance shocked Su Qianxuan. She turned abruptly and started to inch backward. You. You knew that I was here all along. Su Qianxuan looked anxiously at him. Be obedient and tell your dad what you're looking for. What did that old thing leave behind for you? Xiao Banian walked step by step towards her. Money. Grandpa left some money behind for me. Su Qianxuan leaned against the table. There was no longer any space for her to move back. Of course, it was not so easy for Su Qianxuan to deceive such a cunning man like Xiao Banian. You don't want to tell me. Fine. I have ways to force it out of you. Xiao Banian went up to Su Qianxuan and extended his hand to clutch her face. My obedient daughter, you better accompany Chairman Lu well tonight. Don't cause me any more trouble. Su Qianxuan was extremely frightened. She forcefully shoved Xiao Banian off and tried to flee but she was captured by two male bodyguards only after taking a few steps. They brought Su Qianxuan before Xiao Banian again. Let me go. What on earth do you want? Su Qianxuan struggled, but she was unable to escape the clutches of the two male bodyguards. There was fury in Xiao Bonian's eyes. He clutched Su Qianxuan's face with force, opened a bottle of liquid medication in his hand and poured everything into Su Qianxuan's mouth. Su Qianxuan shook her head non-stop and fought against Xiao Banian with all her strength. However, Xiao Banian was extremely merciless and forced her to swallow all of the liquid in her mouth. The liquid medication was an aphrodisiac. Xiao Banian had learned his lesson from the previous incident and made sure that there was no loophole in his plan today. After Su Qianxuan swallowed the liquid aphrodisiac, the bodyguards released her. The young woman collapsed onto the study table beside her in a flustered manner. She felt extremely hot, as though thousands of ants were nibbling on the bones inside her body. She really wanted to take off all her clothes. Send her over to Chairman Lu. Xiao Banian was a true demon. Su Qianxuan grabbed a fruit knife from the study table with all her might. She then turned to look at Xiao Banian and said weakly, I would rather die than let you have your way. After she said that, she stabbed her lower belly without hesitation. Immense pain followed, and Su Qianxuan regained some of her rationality. She pulled the knife out, and there was a splatter of blood. L.C. Su Qianxuan immediately collapsed onto the floor. She heard her father's furious growl. Even if you die today, you'll have to die on Chairman Lu's bed. Send her over. Su Qianxuan felt absolutely crushed when she heard what Xiao Banian said. They only gave Su Qianxuan's wound a simple treatment before they sent her to Chairman Lu's room. The aphrodisiac was prepared by Su Mani. Since she hated Su Qianxuan to the core, she naturally prepared the strongest aphrodisiac. Su Qianxuan had totally lost her senses. Even the pain could no longer help her recover the slightest bit of her rationality. She lay on the bed with her long hair spread out messily, 
and her small mouth was slightly parted like a fish gasping for air. The young woman squirmed non-stop, clutching the sheets beneath her body as if her life depended on it. This enticing scene was what Chairman Liu saw when he entered the room, and his blood immediately rushed to his head. He took off his clothes while he walked towards the bed and was already completely naked when he reached it. He did not care that the young woman on the bed was injured, and he impatiently pressed her beneath his body. He then lowered his head and started to kiss her. Chapter 93 You actually tried to smash me to death. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 93 You actually tried to smash me to death. Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation Inside the main hall of the Chiao family's mansion Wearing expensive perfume and clad in gorgeous clothes, the guests lifted their glasses to toast one another. The orchestra stationed at the upper corner of the main hall was playing an extremely joyous composition, and there were smiles on everyone's faces. Su Mani winked at Xiao Yiren, letting her know that the matter had been settled. Xiao Yiren was so excited that she almost lost her composure. She finally got to tear that little SL asterisk T to shreds today. She wanted Xia Chushi to see with his own eyes how SL asterisk TTY Su Qianxuan looked once she was wantonly savaged by that man. Pleased with herself, she looked at her reflection in the mirror beside her. She was wearing a pure white gown, and all the laces on it were 100% handmade. The workmanship itself took a few hundred hours, and the gown was worth around a million RMB. From now onwards, Su Qianxuan would no longer be a threat to her. She would truly become a dignified and respectable princess, while that SL asterisk T would become the Chiao family's money dot making tool. That SL asterisk T would be ravaged by all kinds of fat and disgusting men, while the money obtained in exchange for that SL asterisk T's body would be spent on her, for her to dress herself up. She was heading towards the pinnacle of her life. The engagement ceremony had officially begun. Xiao Yiren clung on to the arm of the dashing Xia Chushi as they walked onto the stage. Under the bright light, they looked like a match made in heaven. The audience started to clap, giving their sincere blessings to the newly dot engaged couple. On the stage, Xiao Yiren tugged at Xia Chushi's clothes lightly when she noticed that he was spacing out. Only then did Xia Chushi focus on the ceremony, but he was feeling extremely agitated. In the bedroom. Even though Su Qianxuan had already lost her rationality, she could still sense that something was not right with the man on top of her. Only by biting the tip of her tongue to the point that it bled did she manage to force her eyes open to take a good look at the man before her. She forcefully turned her head away to dodge the man's kisses. With what little rationality she had left, she extended her hand towards the bedside table and scrabbled around. When she came across something cold and hard, she used almost every single ounce of her strength to pick it up and smash it into the man's head. Su Qianxuan knew very well that this was her last chance. If she was not able to smash the other party to death, she would be the one on her deathbed. Unfortunately, her strength was too minute. By smashing the ashtray into the man's head, she was only able to inflict temporary pain. The ashtray then slipped out of her hand. B asterisk TCH, you actually tried to smash me to death. I wanted to be gentler towards you, but now, I'm going to ravage you to death. Out of humiliation, Chairman Lu flew into a rage. He raised his hand and slapped Su Qianxuan across the face. Su Qianxuan's head turned to one side as a result of the slap. Her messy, long hair covered her small face, and a little bit of blood dripped out from the corner of her lips. When Chairman Liu saw how flustered the young woman beneath his body looked, his animal instincts grew even stronger. He could not hold himself back anymore and decided to f asterisk CK Su Qianxuan first before anything else. At the same time, countless helicopters were flying towards the Chiao family's mansion. The helicopters then circled the mansion while a group of men in black entered the Chiao family mansion by sliding down ropes, which were being lowered from the helicopters. Like phantoms, they quickly encroached every single corner of the mansion. 
Long Siju stood expressionlessly at the door of a helicopter's cabin. He jumped off the helicopter without the help of any rope and landed steadily on the ground. He did not stop at all, and dashed towards one of the mansion's windows like a cheetah. Bang, the loud sound shocked Chairman Liu, who was about to start raping Su Chinchuan. He turned and saw that a masked man was walking towards him. Dot right then, Chairman Liu thought that he was staring at the demon of death. Before he could scream for help, Long Siju had already dashed towards him. Long Siju lifted him up by clutching his neck, and pressed him against the wall. Chairman Liu's eyes were opened extremely wide, and he forcefully kicked around. He wanted to scream for help but was powerless to do so. He also wanted to beg for mercy but was incapable of uttering a single word. Long Siju stared coldly at the man who was pressed against the wall, and took off the mask on his face. His gaze was so icy that it looked as if he was looking at a dead person. How dare you touch my woman? I'll show you how hell feels like. Long Siju swung the knife in his hand and chopped off Chairman Liu's disgusting D asterisk CK. The pain was so immense that Chairman Liu fainted straight away before he could even scream. However, that was only the beginning of his pain. The young woman on the bed moaned softly. Long Siju quickly turned, and when he saw the state the little thing on the bed was in, his blood immediately froze. Chapter 94 Immense Pain You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 94 Immense Pain Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation The long black dress on Su Qianxuan had long since been torn into shreds, and it formed a distinctive contrast with her fair skin. To Long Siju, it was an extremely seductive sight. A thin layer of fragrant perspiration coated her body while her wet black hair were messily stuck on her face. There were blood stains all over the bed sheet underneath Su Qianxuan, and they resembled blossoming red spider lilies. The young woman was in immense pain because of the aphrodisiacs. She moved her body in agony and moaned like a kitten from time to time. When Long Siju saw the state the young woman was in, his breath froze. He quickly walked to the side of the bed, intending to carry the young woman and get her out of that place. The moment his big hands touched Su Qianxuan's body, the young woman, who was under extreme torture, sensed the intense smell of his testosterone. As if she had been injected with a psychostimulant, she abruptly wrapped her arms around the man's neck, pulling him towards her and kissing him. The young woman's sweet lips, together with the taste of blood, stimulated Long Siju's senses. He almost lost his control and climbed on top of her to shower her with some love. However, he then remembered that her wound was still bleeding, and that he needed to send her for treatment first. Long Siju forcibly tore himself away from her. Su Qianxuan cried out of desperation, and because she was panicking, her strength was much greater than usual. She clung on to the man, who was trying to detach himself from her, and threw him onto the bed. The young woman rolled over and started riding him. Su Qianxuan had completely lost her senses. The only thing she knew at that moment was that his testosterone could save his life. She could not let him go. She definitely could not let him go. Calm down. You're injured. Long Siju looked at the gauze around her abdomen, which was soaked in blood and tried to push her away. There was no more rationality left in Su Qianxuan. She was enchanted by the scent of the man. As the rough fabric of the man's clothes rubbed against her smooth and delicate skin, she felt extraordinarily comfortable. Long Siju was almost going crazy. He was never able to resist this little thing to begin with. Long Siju already found Su Qianxuan alluring even when she just stood still without doing anything. Now that she was wrapping herself around his body. On top of that, her actions were so seductive. Long Siju had never felt so torn. As he hesitated, the young woman bit his lips again. Long Siju had completely lost control. Just as he was about to roll over and F asterisk CK this little thing intensely, he felt something warm dripping on his body. He lowered his head and saw that his shirt was soaked in the young woman's blood. 
How much blood has she lost? Long Siju did not dare to hesitate further. He quickly stood up with Su Qianxuan in his arms and hurried towards the window. Su Qianxuan was so panicked that she cried out. She continued to scrabble around his body as she rubbed her petite body against his clothes. She also bit him non-stop. Help. Please, help me. I beg you. Su Qianxuan felt extremely uncomfortable, and rubbing herself against him and kissing him like this could not quench her thirst. Instead, it felt even more torturous to her. We need to stop your bleeding first. Long Siju left the bedroom with Su Qianxuan in his arms. Tang Zue pulled the two of them back into the helicopter. The moment the helicopter left the Chiao family's mansion, the place exploded. One after another, sounds of explosion rang out from the residence. In the blink of an eye, the exquisite Chiao family's mansion turned into a bloodbath. The blazing fire brightened the night sky and turned it into day. Cries for help broke the silence in the atmosphere. In this short span of time, the young woman, who was clinging on to Long Siju, had turned silent. She lay quietly in his embrace with her eyes closed and did not move at all. Chapter 95 Panicked You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 95 Panic Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation Su Qinxuan's eyes were tightly shut, and her long eyelashes dangled from her eyes like the wings of a weary butterfly. Her breathing was gradually getting weaker. When Long Siju saw that the little thing had lost consciousness, he panicked for the first time in his life. He hugged the young woman in his arms tightly and called out to her, Hey, wake up. Zi Fan, what happened to this chick? Tang Zue was shocked by the scene before him and he looked anxiously at Zi Fan, who was beside him. She's been drugged with aphrodisiacs and she needs the antidote immediately. She'll lose her life if she's not rescued in time, Dot Zi Fan was not keen on saving Su Qianxuan at all. However, as Su Qianxuan's presence was still useful to Long Siju, the young woman could not die just yet. Ju, hurry up and save the chick. Tang Zue anxiously urged Long Siju. It was now more important for Long Siju to save Su Qianxuan's life than to take care of her wound. He carried the little thing and ran to the lounge. He did not hesitate any more this time. He penetrated her, uniting his body with hers again and again. The young woman beneath him finally reacted to his actions and whimpered like a kitten. Long Siju only heaved a sigh of relief when he saw that. He hugged the young woman so tightly that it was as if he wished to engulf her into his body. Long Siju slowly released her from his embrace. However, he did not dare stop what he was doing. He took out a bottle of hemostatic drug from the drawer, opened the bottle, and applied it on the young woman's wound. The entire time, he did not stop thrusting his P** NIS in and out of the woman's body. When Long Siju saw that the young woman's breathing was stabilizing and that her bleeding had stopped, his gaze became extremely profound as he stared at the still. Weak young woman underneath him. He put down the bottle of drug and continued to do his part as her antidote. When Su Qianxuan woke up, she was already in the hospital. She stared at the ceiling on top of her in confusion. When she recalled what happened, she felt her blood run cold. That psychotic man, Chao Banian, had poisoned her with aphrodisiacs and made her sleep with another man just to achieve his filthy aim. She genuinely doubted that the man was her biological father. If he really was her father, how could he have been so cruel to his own daughter? Someone pushed the ward door open, and Su Qianxuan immediately looked at the door. When she saw that Long Siju was the one entering the ward, she trembled hard. She ignored the soreness all over her body and nervously sat up. She clenched her fists tightly and inched backwards non-stop. She was already sullied. That disgusting man had tainted her. How will Long Siju punish me? Long Siju walked to the side of the bed and stood still beside her. He looked at her with an extremely cold gaze. Su Qianxuan was truly frightened, 
and she was shivering out of fear. She was not afraid of death, but she was scared that Long Siju would lash out on her younger brother because of what happened to her. Long Siju extended his arm towards her. Su Qianxuan thought he was about to choke her to death, hence she continued to inch backwards out of fear. She shivered more intensely due to the pain from her wound and the soreness all over her body. When he saw how Su Qianxuan tried to avoid him, Long Siju's gaze turned even colder. He emanated a frighteningly icy aura as he fixed his gaze on the young woman on the bed. Su Qianxuan wanted to say something, but her tongue was in a lot of pain. Moreover, she did not know what she could tell him. Long Siju stared at her for some time before he abruptly turned and left the ward. He slammed the door behind him loudly. No longer oppressed by the domineering aura Long Siju emanated, Su Qianxuan plopped wearily onto the bed. Her body was extremely weak right now, and she was drenched in cold sweat. She bit her lower lip hard to prevent herself from breaking down. I'm so dirty, really dirty. Chapter 96 She was having a fever you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 96 She was having a fever translator. Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation All of a sudden, Su Qianxuan frantically got off the bed and rushed to the bathroom. She turned on the shower and let the cold water wash over her. Yet, it was not enough, it would never be enough. She felt as if the water could not wash away her dirtiness. She took off her hospital gown, grabbed the shower sponge, and scrubbed herself aggressively. Numerous scratches started to appear on her pale skin, but she felt very, very dirty. Su Qianxuan no longer knew whether her face was wet because of tears or water. She just kept scrubbing herself. But even if she scrubbed herself until all the skin on her body peeled off, how was she going to clean away the filth inside her body? She felt extremely despaired, and she kept increasing the force at which she was scrubbing herself. She scrubbed her private part aggressively, but what was the point? She was still not clean. Long Siju went outside to smoke a cigarette and when he came back, he noticed that the hospital bed was empty. When he heard the sound of water ringing out from the bathroom, he walked towards the bathroom. When he pushed the door open and saw what was happening inside, his heart sank. The young woman stood naked under the shower head. The gauze on her stomach was already stained red by her blood, and a mixture of blood and water ran down along her pale calves. She was scrubbing the most delicate part of her body frantically, and her originally pale skin had been scrubbed so hard that it was covered in scratches. Long Siju quickly walked over and tried to pull her away from the shower. Su Qianxuan cried as she pushed him away. There was helplessness in her black eyes. What should I do? I can't wipe it clean, I can't wipe it clean. When Long Siju saw that she was still hurting herself, as if she had gone mad, he grabbed her wrists and lifted them up, pressing her against the wall. Su Qianxuan, why are you going crazy again? Su Qianxuan looked at the man before her through the foggy mist. She cried and whispered, Dirty, I'm so dirty. What should I do? I'm so dirty. Through the foggy mist, Su Qianxuan looked at the man before her as she cried out. Large teardrops kept rolling down her eyes. When Long Siju saw her hurt and hopeless expression, he furrowed his eyebrows tightly. I'm dirty, I'm so dirty, please let me clean myself. Su Qianxuan looked at him pleadingly. Her black eyes, which were as pure as a fawn's, were filled with deep despair. Long Siju's hair and body were also soaked by now. Water dripped down from his strong jawline. He looked at the young woman before him, who was as fragile as a crystal. Her face was so pale that it seemed almost transparent, and her wrists were as thin as that of a teenager's. At that moment, he felt as if she would just disappear before him. Long Siju suddenly lowered his head and kissed the young woman in front of him. Su Qianxuan widened her eyes abruptly. She could not believe what was happening. She was already dirty, why did the man still wanted to kiss her? She wanted to push him away, 
but the man was holding so tightly onto her that she was unable to move at all. Her lips were very cold. Long Siju kissed her fiercely and was unwilling to let her go even though Su Qianxuan tried to break free from him a few times. He only loosened his grip on her when he felt the body of the young woman before him turn limp. He then carried her out of the bathroom. He placed her on the hospital bed and took off his clothes, which were already damp. He then pressed her underneath his body. Her body was extremely cold, but his body was burning hot. He hugged her tightly and warmed her with his body heat. I'm already dirty, I'm already dirty, the young woman muttered repeatedly. There was great despair in her voice. Long Siju stared at the young woman. Her eyes were tightly shut, and her eyelashes were fluttering. He embraced her even more tightly. There was an immense ache in his chest. The doctor bandaged Su Qinxuan's wound again. The knife wound was inflamed because it came into contact with water. There were also a lot of scratches on her body due to the scrubbing, and they looked extraordinarily terrifying on her pale skin. The young woman's face had also went from pale to bright red. She was having a fever, and her condition escalated very quickly. Her body temperature shot up to almost 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Chapter 97 Familiar voice you are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 97 Familiar voice translator Endless fantasy translation editor Endless fantasy translation The doctors tried many methods, but they were still unable to bring Su Qinxuan's fever down. The young woman's delicate eyebrows were tightly furrowed together, and it was obvious that she was in great pain. She kept talking in her sleep. Others were not able to hear what she was saying clearly, but Long Siju knew that she was calling herself dirty. Long Siju stood in the ward the entire time. His expressionless face was extraordinarily terrifying. All the hospital's doctors, including Zi Fan had their hands tied when it came to Su Qinxuan's condition. The moment Tang Zui rushed over, he asked about Su Qinxuan's condition. He then went beside the bed to take a look at her before asking, Ju, what's this chick saying? She's saying that she's dirty, Long Siju answered coldly. The doctors finally breathed a sigh of relief when they heard him talk. Otherwise, they would have thought that he was just a beautiful ice sculpture in the ward. Please leave first, Tang Zui instructed. Everyone left the ward. Only Long Siju, Tang Zui, and Su Qinxuan were left. Tang Zui understood women better. He said, Ju, maybe this chick feels that she has been sullied by that man with the surname Li. What are you talking about? Long Siju stared at him with furrowed eyebrows. Think about it, when you went to rescue that chick yesterday, she was already unable to recognize anyone due to the drug. After you rescued her, she almost lost her life. She had no idea who she had s asterisk x with at all. She's probably saying that she's dirty because she thought that the other man had raped her. Long Siju looked at the young woman on the bed. Her cheeks were still red, her eyebrows were tightly furrowed because of the pain. And due to the fever, the skin on her petite lips was so dry that it was starting to crack. She seemed extraordinarily pitiful. He suddenly remembered the way she scrubbed herself aggressively in the bathroom just now. She even scrubbed her private part with the shower sponge, to the point that it almost bled. But she was still saying that she was dirty. Su Qinxuan's fever did not go down even when night came. The doctors were rather puzzled. How could one's fever be so persistent? Long Siju kept smoking in the hallway. Yi Gu, who had been standing guard outside the door, also had his heart in his throat. He really wanted to go in and take a look at Su Qinxuan, but it was not his place to do so. When Long Siju went in, a young nurse was using warm water to wipe Su Qinxuan's body in an attempt to bring down her body temperature. Get out! Long Siju ordered. The young nurse immediately put down the towel in her hand and left. Long Siju walked towards the bed and picked up the towel. He wiped Su Qinxuan's face with awkward movements. His probably exerted too much strength and hurt her, 
as the young woman shrank away in reluctance. Long Siju furrowed his eyebrows a little and tossed the towel aside. He stood up and undid his shirt, one button after another Su Qianxuan, who was in a lethargic sleep felt a weight on her body. Her lips were bitten by someone, and something wet repeatedly swept across her dry lips. Her eyelashes fluttered. She felt very comfortable because of how cooling the thing was. She opened her mouth without being aware of it and sucked on the thing. When Long Siju sensed the young woman's proactivity, his eyes darkened with desire, and he deepened the kiss. He kissed the young woman until she was almost unable to breath. He then slowly moved his lips towards her ear. It be good. You're very clean. You're not dirty at all, all right. That familiar voice and familiar breath, that clean and clear smell with a hint of tobacco. He always had a faint smell of lilies of the valley on him. It was her favorite smell, which could penetrate deep into her soul. That night. It was me. Su Qianxuan cried out from the sudden pain. Her cries were muffled the next second, and the man swallowed all her whimpers. Chapter 98 Bumped into her wound you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 98 Bumped into her wound translator. Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation Su Qianxuan's high fever finally went down the next morning, but she was still unconscious. She was in deep sleep for three days before she woke up. Even though the young woman was awake, she was still very weak. Even her black eyes, which were usually lively, had turned dull. She vaguely remembered what Long Siju had said by her ears, but she was still worried that it was just a dream, which stemmed from her extreme fear and need to comfort herself. She could only wait cautiously for Long Siju to come in order to confirm what she heard. However, Long Siju did not show up again. When Tang Zue visited her, Su Qianxuan immediately sought confirmation about what happened that night from Tang Zue. Tang Zue knew that the young woman was worried about that matter. He explained what happened the other night to her and told her that Long Siju arrived in time to save her. Su Qianxuan was totally relieved after she heard what Tang Zue said. For the next few days, Su Qianxuan was still very weak. She looked sickly and even needed someone to support her whenever she went to the bathroom. Su Qianxuan had never been so sick in her life. Every day, apart from eating food and medication as well as getting infusions, she was practically just sleeping. Long Siju never came again after that night. When Su Qianxuan regained some of her strength, she secretly went to her younger brother's ward twice. One night, while Su Qianxuan was asleep, she felt a weight pressing on her body. She opened her eyes, and her heart skipped a beat when she saw the man on top of her. Right when she was about to thank him, Long Siju suddenly lowered his head and kissed her petite lips. Su Qianxuan was still somewhat afraid. After all, her body still felt very uncomfortable because she had yet to recover from her injuries. But she also knew that she had no choice but to have S asterisk X with him if he wanted to. After her clothes were taken off, the young woman grabbed the man's shoulder a little nervously. She waited anxiously for the pain to come. However, after she waited for a very long time, the man only rubbed himself against her a couple of times before he suddenly rolled over and got off from her body. He extended his arms and embraced her tightly. Su Qianxuan looked at the man before her in surprise. Why he did not bully her today? Young master. Su Qianxuan stared at him with a dumbfounded look on her face. Her beautiful black eyes were filled with confusion. Sleep. Long Siju placed his chin on top of her head and pulled her closer into his embrace. Su Qianxuan was at a loss for words. She could not understand what was wrong with him today. He actually did not want to have S asterisk X and even allowed her to sleep. Actually, she really wanted to continue sleeping, but something hard was pressing against her lower abdomen, causing her to feel a bit of pain. It was impossible for her to sleep at all. The young woman dared not move her body at all, fearing that it would alarm the man before her. 
she could only bite her lower lip and endure it. Long Siju lightly caressed her smooth back with his large hand. He truly could not hold himself back anymore. He lowered his head and kissed her petite lips again. The man's movements also became more aggressive as the kiss grew more passionate, and he accidentally bumped his P asterisk NIS into her wound. Su Chinshuan cried out in pain, and tears immediately rolled down from her eyes. Long Siju immediately pushed her away and lifted her up as he asked, Did I bump into your wound? Su Chinshuan immediately nodded and stared at the man before her, teary eyed. But when her gaze fell upon his private part, she immediately covered her eyes with her hands. I'm all right. It's not painful anymore. Although she said so, Long Siju still checked on the wound on her abdomen to make sure that it was not hurt by his big baby. Only then did he feel relieved. Chapter 99 An interesting game you are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 99 An interesting game translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation Long Siju fixed his gaze on the wound on the young woman's abdomen. Although it was not big, the doctor said that it was very deep. It looked extraordinarily ugly on her originally beautiful lower belly. You were so ruthless towards yourself. Did you really want to die? Long Siju raised his head and stared at her. There was annoyance in his voice. Su Chinshuan crossed her arms, feeling rather embarrassed. Her voice was a little doleful. Nobody would want to die unless they are forced into a dead end. Of course I didn't want to die. She still had a lot of unfinished business. She still needed to take care of her younger brother. She avoided her vital organs when she stabbed herself with the knife. She was only hoping that Xiao Banian would let her go. She thought that Xiao Banian would stop if she was already injured. Who knew that she had underestimated the ugly side of human nature? Xiao Banian had already gone mad and lost his humanity. She really could not relate the man who said, even if you die today, you'll have to die on Chairman Lu's bed, to her gentle and loving father in the past. Long Siju did not like the expression on her face right now. He pulled the young woman up and let her lie face down on the bed. He grabbed her waist with his big hands and lifted her up a little. Young master, what are you doing? Su Chenshuan felt so embarrassed that her originally pale face turned bright red. She wanted to roll over but was stopped by him. Don't move. Long Siju held her waist firmly. Her waist was really slim, and he could wrap it with both hands. Her waistline was also extremely exquisite. Young master, no. Su Chenshuan really could not accept being in this position. It was so embarrassing as he was able to see everything. Long Siju ignored the young woman's resistance. He placed his D asterisk CK between her legs and made her clamp her legs together. The man switched several positions before he was finally satisfied. By that time, Su Chinshuan felt so much shame that she wanted to dig a hole and hide inside it. She would rather have S asterisk X with him for real, because she would then pass out from the pain without having to face such an embarrassing situation. Su Chinshuan thought that it had ended, but Long Siju did not plan on letting her go at all. As if he just discovered an interesting game, he continued to explore various new positions. The young woman was very thin. She was 5 feet and 6 inches in height, but she only weighed in at around 80 pounds. Even though she was extremely thin, all her assets were of the right size. For example, her B asterisk OBS felt extremely nice to the touch. Su Qianxuan really wished that she could faint right away so that she would not need to face such a humiliating situation. However, she had been sleeping too much recently. Not only did she not faint, but she felt extremely awake. Dot. When Su Qianxuan woke up the following day, Long Siju was already gone from the ward. When she recalled what he did to her the night before, her face turned extremely red, so much so that Aunt Qi, who had come to take care of her, thought that she was having a fever again. She almost asked the doctor to come over to examine Su Chinshuan. 
Su Qianxuan had to keep assuring Aunt Qi that she was not having a fever before Aunt Qi finally gave up. At noon, Aunt Qi left after she made sure that Su Qianxuan had lunch. Su Qianxuan sneaked out of the ward to see Su Jia again. She suddenly realized that being hospitalized was not such a bad thing after all. At least she got to see her younger brother more often. Su Qianxuan did not expect to bump into Xia Chushi. She ignored him as if he was a stranger. However, Xia Chushi did not plan on letting her go even though she ignored him. He went over and grabbed her hand before pulling her to the stairway by the side. Xia Chushi, let go of me. Su Qianxuan glared furiously at him. Why would Xia Chushi let her go? He tightened his grip on her, and his gaze was extremely cold as he stared at her. Su Qianxuan, I never expected you to be this ruthless. Chapter 100 You guys are way ahead of me. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 100 You guys are way ahead of me. Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation When it comes to ruthlessness, you guys are way ahead of me. Su Qianxuan smirked coldly. There was an ironic expression on her face. When Xia Chushi saw how nonchalant and clueless she looked, he suddenly flew into a violent rage. He grabbed her thin and frail shoulders and glared at her in fury. Do you know how many people you've hurt? I have no idea what you're talking about. Let me go. How dare you say that you have no idea? The night Irin and I got engaged, the Chiao family's mansion exploded and was almost razed to the ground. There were innumerable casualties. Right now, Uncle Chiao, Irin, and Aunt Man are still hospitalized. Su Qianxuan, how dare you tell me that this has nothing to do with you? I already said that I have no idea. Now that I have found out about it through you, my only comment is that the person who blew up the mansion did a good job. My only regret is that those three brutal and cold dot blooded people aren't dead yet. Su Qianxuan's expression was extremely cold. Enough. I should have known earlier. Why on earth would someone as vicious as you feel even a tiny bit of guilt? Xia Chushi wanted to crush her shoulders so badly right now. Vicious. Xia Chushi, it's your own choice to be blind and dumb. Now, let me go. Su Qianxuan's heart was as cold as steel. Su Qianxuan, don't you think that you can do whatever you want now just because you have someone backing you up? The members of the Xiao and Xia family are not people you can afford to mess with. Xia Chushi glared at her petite face, which did not reveal a single ounce of guilt. It was as if she did not care at all about the grave incident that had happened. He hated this expression of hers the most. He wanted to crush her face so badly. Let me go. You're hurting me. Su Qianxuan continued staring coldly at him. You can feel pain too. Su Qianxuan, I'm warning you, no matter who your sugar daddy is right now, you better leave him and apologize to Uncle Xiao immediately. That man isn't going to have you as his sugar baby forever. Wait till he's tired of you. Who are you to interfere with my business? I can become whoever's sugar baby. That's my business. If you still don't let me go, I'm going to scream for help. I dare you. Help. Help. Su Qianxuan did not want to listen to Xia Chushi's bullshit anymore. Now that she did not have the strength to flee on her own, the only thing she could do was scream for help. Xia Chushi immediately tried to cover her mouth, but someone opened the door to the stairway right then. Su Qianxuan looked towards the door. She did not expect that person to be Mu Bai. When Mu Bai noticed that the man had his hands on Su Qianxuan, he immediately walked towards them. Without a word, he swung his fist at Xia Chushi. In order to avoid Mu Bai's attack, Xia Chushi had no choice but to release Su Qianxuan first. At the same time, he raised his leg to kick the man who was being a busybody. The two men fought in the stairway while Su Qianxuan leaned against the wall and watched both of them nervously. 
She was worried that Mu Bai would be in hot water, so she shouted angrily, Xia Chushi, you stop right now. When Xia Chushi heard what Su Qianxuan shouted, not only did he not stop, but he attacked Mu Bai even more vigorously. Dot Mu Bai was not showing any signs of weakness either. He was as aggressive. Su Qianxuan did not expect Mu Bai, who usually seemed gentle, to be such a good fighter. Both of them were on equal footing. Both were injured as well. The corner of Mu Bai's mouth was swollen. Xia Chushi had also been kicked a few times, and he was groaning from time to time. When Su Qianxuan saw that the fight was getting more and more heated up, she shouted anxiously, You two, stop fighting. Stop it. The two men were extremely indulged in the fight, and did not listen to her at all. Xia Chushi and Mu Bai kicked each other, retreated, and swung their fists at each other at the same time. Su Qianxuan took the opportunity to rush forward. She stood between the two men before they could reach each other.